In a critical move aimed at preserving naval strength amidst tightening budgets, Secretary of the Navy Carlos del Toro has announced the extension of the operational life of 12 Arleigh Burke class, DDG-51, Flight I destroyers beyond their originally intended 35 year lifespan. This decision, detailed by the U.S. Department of Defense on October 31, 2024, reflects a strategic effort to maintain a robust combat ready fleet while navigating financial limitations. The Navy's comprehensive ship by ship assessment confirmed that these destroyers possess the hull integrity, combat capability, and technical resilience required to continue active service. This extension will add a collective 48 years to the Navy's surface fleet spanning from 2028 to 2035, and aligns with the proposed fiscal year 2026 budget. Del Toro emphasized that the Arleigh Burke-class destroyers play a vital role in power projection and are key to the Navy's deterrent strategy in increasingly contested regions. These destroyers have proven their resilience in varied operational theaters, highlighting their value as the Navy confronts budgetary pressures while upholding its commitments in critical areas of interest. Admiral Lisa Franchetti reinforced the significance of this decision, underscoring its alignment with the Navy's broader strategy to sustain fleet strength and meet the dual demands of peacetime and combat scenarios. By prioritizing the extension of service life over immediate new shipbuilding, the Navy aims to preserve its current capabilities and maintain the battle force inventory in the face of financial constraints. However, this extension strategy is not without trade-offs. While it offers a temporary solution to fleet size and readiness, it may compromise the Navy's long-term modernization goals. As the Navy diverts funds from new shipbuilding to sustain existing assets, concerns have emerged about the ability to keep pace with evolving technological standards. The fiscal limitations affecting the Navy's shipbuilding program have impacted critical new projects, notably the production of Virginia-class submarines and Constellation-class frigates. Reduced budgets have placed these and other projects at risk, potentially eroding the fleet's long-term readiness and technological edge. This strategy, while practical in the short term, may hinder the Navy's ability to respond to future security challenges in rapidly advancing theaters like the Indo-Pacific, where rivals such as China are aggressively expanding their maritime capabilities. The Navy's fiscal approach also affects its modernization efforts, with reduced funding in crucial areas like science and technology research, cut by 30% this year, creating potential setbacks in fields like cybersecurity, information warfare, and advanced shipbuilding technologies. In a global landscape where technological superiority is increasingly pivotal to strategic deterrence, these cuts could challenge the Navy's ability to maintain its edge against peer competitors. Experts warn that by extending the service life of older vessels, the Navy may face limitations in adopting next-generation capabilities essential for a future conflict environment. The reliance on legacy ships could also strain innovation pipelines, which are vital to sustaining operational superiority in high-stakes regions. If prolonged, this approach may leave the Navy at a disadvantage against adversaries such as China and Russia, who are accelerating their defense advancements. The decision to extend the operational life of the Arleigh Burke-class destroyers underscores the Navy's pragmatic approach to fleet management amid financial challenges. While this move sustains a robust fleet presence in the short term, it also highlights the Navy's constrained ability to invest in future capabilities. As global security dynamics shift, the importance of balancing immediate operational needs with long-term technological and strategic innovation remains a critical focus for the U.S. Navy.